welcome to the electronic devices and circuit practical session and today's practical is simulate MOSFET or CMOS inverter so basically CMOS is a complementary metal oxide semiconductor which is a combination of N channel enhancement of MOSFET and P channel enhancement of MOSFET in which uh, both MOSFETs gate terminal is grouped together and considered as input and both MOSFETs drain terminal is grouped together and considered as output and in case of N channel enhancement of MOSFET source is connected to ground and in case of P channel enhancement of MOSFET source is connected to uh, supply voltage that is, that is VDD and now we are going to verify the truth table of CMOS inverter we will see the circuit this is what the circuit diagram of CMOS inverter where both gate terminals group together and consider as input and both drain terminals consider as output and we are going to verify the truth table as it is CMOS inverter means it is acts as a logic not gate so with the help of CMOS we can implement logic not gate the meaning is if input is logic 0 output must be logic 1 the logic 0 meaning is it is connected to ground and logic 1 the meaning is it is connected to VDD or output is VDD which is 5 volt generally similarly if your input is logic 1 then output is logic 0 vice versa so in between them we have to check how MOSFET acts as a switch because in this case we are giving uh, input as a DC voltage we are not using any AC voltage so basically MOSFET either uh, operated in uh, non saturation region that is closed switch means through which current flow or either MOSFET acts in a cutoff region where MOSFET acts as open switch that is current does not flow through them so we call it as when M1 is on means current flow through them and when M1 off means current does not flow through them how we came to know whether my output is logic 1 or logic 0 because we can able to clearly give input logic 0 or logic 1 by just connecting the input connecting wire to ground that is logic 0 and to VDD to logic 1 but how we came to know the output so for that we use LED and LED is to be connected in such a way that it must be in forward bias condition because LED operates in forward bias condition to emit light always so when at anode we have high voltage because cathode is connected to ground then LED glow or whenever at anode we have same voltage as cathode LED will not glow so that is the basic function of MOSFET or CMOS inverter now we will construct this circuit with the help of multi-SIM now I will take one NMOS and one PMOS so I will go to MOSFET uh, enhancement type MOSFET basically and as we know in case of enhancement type MOSFET channel is absent initially and then it is induced so I will take very first enhancement type MOSFET which is N channel and similarly I will take one more P channel enhancement of MOSFET which is 849 this one but we know that in case of P channel enhancement of MOSFET source is connected to VDD so my source is to be connected to VDD so I have to replace or I have to orient my circuit such a way that the source must be connected to VDD now these are both drain terminal and now I can combine both gate terminal as it is so this this is a configuration as gate is connected to gate of another and drain is connected to drain of another so I will take one VDD that is voltage source which is of 5 volt which is sufficient to uh, turn on LED and I will take one ground then I will take one LED it is light emitting diode so under diode I will take it so especially I will take red LED so that it can be clearly visible I will use like this 
so it should be connected to drain terminal so drain terminal must be get node and other terminal we can just copy from here itself copy and we can have pressed the ground terminal and now I apply the input either this means this logic uh, I mean this is a gate we have grouped both gate as it is and we either give this input to logic 1 that is VDD or we can give either to logic 0 so for that we can use a uh, switch so switch can be easily obtained from uh, from this the master database as a switch and we take SPDT switch there are different types of switch I will take SPDT and I will use SPDT switch I want s input is a common but I want either logic 0 or logic 1 so I will uh, make it oriented vertically so that now I will connect input and now either the input may be to logic 1 or either the input may be logic 0 so and here if we press the space bar key so uh, if we press the space bar the input is connected to logic 1 and if we press the space bar the input is connected to logic 0 and and accordingly I want to see the output of LED by uh, whether it is eliminate or not that light so I will run it and see the input is connected to logic 1 my output is not means my LED is not glowing so that can easily say we cannot we can say that the output is logic 0 so if we see the truth table if input is logic 1 my uh, n channel enhancement of MOSFET will be on and that is current flow through them because whenever you give logic 1 this type of MOSFET is a uh, closed circuit or closed switch and this type of MOSFET is open switch so as this is open switch means VDD is disconnected from this 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 side so VDD is not connected to uh, anode terminal of and hence uh, LED and hence LED does not glow whereas when logic 1 is connected then n channel enhancement of MOSFET is activated or current flow through them so completely your output is connected through this towards ground so this n anode terminal is connected to ground and cathode is also ground so uh, LED does not glow so that means it is logic 0 so if you give logic 1 as input output is logic 0 if you press space bar key then my input is logic 0 and see my output is this is the LED that glows that means when you give logic 0 as input then NMOS will be open circuited or open switch so your uh, this part is disconnected this this part this node is disconnected from uh, ground because this is open switch and this is rather close switch so VDD is c connected towards this node so at output we have VDD so at output we have 5 volt and at cathode we have so anode have 5 volt and cathode we have ground and hence LED glow because LED is in forward bias condition so when logic input is logic 0 output is logic 1 so basically it uh, uh, verify the truth table of CMOS inverter by uh, mentioning the status LED glow in case of logic 0 so that is your output is logic 1 so this is what CMOS inverter and this is a single pair of CMOS inverter Thank you.